YouTube, this is NecroStevo, and you're watching my 80-second narrated Wi-Fi battle. I hope that you guys are doing well. I also hope that you guys aren't sick. I know that I, the weather here in Alabama is really, really bad, and it kind of makes my asthma go out of whack a lot every time it goes from cool to hot. So, I hope you are at least in better health than me. Anyways, though, today's battle is an OU match that I had in person against my friend Justin. This is a pretty good match. It came down to a couple of critical plays. And uh, I don't normally play OU, so it was a nice change of pace. Anyways, though, I start off with my Scarfed High Dragon. And seeing the Tyranitar, I figured he was just going to lay up rocks. He might also have Ice Beam. But I didn't really want to stay in there to, to check. And plus, it'll have a good move against him besides Surf, which isn't going to do much damage because of the Sandstorm boost. So I went out into Mammoth Swine, figuring that he wouldn't use... Uh, a fire type attack against Hydreigon. He does just set up the rocks, which is good. Now I just get to stay in here and kill him with an earthquake if he think he can outspeed me or something weird. Um, so that's what I get to do because I think that he thought he could just hit me, or either that or he didn't want to switch anything out on the, in the Mammoth Swine. Either way, um, any lead that I can get early on in the match is good. He does have up stealth rocks though, so that's a little annoying. Here he brings out Fortress. I figure I can two hit KO it with a life orb, boost his stab, earthquake. I see that damage, and I was really thinking that it was minimum damage, because I really thought I could go ahead and 2 AKO it. But after the leftovers, that's really not a possibility. And I was afraid of him exploding, actually. Because um, if you have explosion, why would you not use it? I don't. I will never understand that ideology. Anyways, though, I was afraid of him exploding, so I didn't want to swap out into anything, and I really should have. Because I could have swapped out into my own fortress and taken an explosion or a gyro ball or anything he wanted to do quite well, and then gotten up some entry hazards on my own. Uh, so that was a little bit of a misplay right there. I do kill him, but I'm going to die for my own life orb after the gyro ball, because this is an adamant max speed, max attack mammoth swine. So there is a bit of a speed uh, gap there, so that gyro ball did a lot of damage. On the double down, I love double downs, I go out into Fortress, uh, Ferrothorn, he goes out into his scissor, and... Here is one misplay I made, because I should have just stayed in. I was afraid of him having superpower, but that would not have killed me anyway. Unless he was banded. Um, but I should have just stayed in, and I should have gone for the Thunder Wave. But I swapped out into Weezing, thinking that Weezing could take anything that Scizor wanted to do, and he double switches out himself into his Latios. Here, I was really, really hoping that he would overpredict and expect me to go back out into Ferrothorn, because now that he's seen it, of course, in, in person, there's no T preview. And so he does overpredict, he goes for Hidden Power Fire, and uh, I just get to stay in Toxic Latios. Um, seeing the damage that that first one did, I thought he was Specs. Actually, it turns out later on that he is Scarfed, but I... Weezy can't take special hits very well anyway, but I thought Hidden Power being a very low base power move, that's about the damage it would do with Specs. Um, so I, I don't I don't know, I'm just not used to seeing Scarf Latios. So and I thought I could take another one and Pain Split that damage back up, but he gets a crit. That may or may not have mattered. Uh, you know, min-max damage, all that type of thing. But since he gets that crit, I'm not able to Pain Split up and take away more of his HP. So here, thinking that he is spec'd, I go, I go out into my Hydreigon. He actually just didn't know the speed of Hydreigon, which is why he switched out right there. I knew uh, that the Dark Pulse might be a little bit risky, knowing that um, there's more types that would benefit from getting hit by Dark with rattled and justified abilities running around, like Lucario, um, than a Dragon-type move. So I just went ahead and went for the Dragon Pulse, which is good, because he goes out into Terrakion, so I'm happy I didn't give him the justified boost. I go out into Boxy as here, hoping to take a close combat and then finish him off with a Surf. He goes for Rock Polish, which I was really okay with. I figured I could take any one move he wanted to do um, and then finish him off with a Surf. He decides to go for close combat, which I was praying that I would live, and I do live, max HP, close to max defense. I don't know if I actually have a max defense IV. It may be like 29 or so. But I take it, and now since he has a special defense drop, it basically negates the sandstorm boost that he has obtained uh, to a special defense. So I'm able to finish off Terrakia, which is good because after that rock polish boost, he outspeeds everything on my team. Um, so that was kind of clutch right there. Now here he goes out into Alakazam, and I thought he was just going to kill me with Psychic. Um, but I guess he thought I was just going to try to get off one more attack, and I was going to go for a roar just for the heck of it. But I decided, what the heck, let's just go for rapid spin in case he doesn't attack. And he doesn't. He sets up a call bind. So I get to get rid of the entry hazards on my side of the field, which is pretty nice, because he had one layer of spikes and rocks up, so that's always nice to get rid of. 
Of course, at that low of an HP range, Psyshock is going to finish me off, which is a little bit unfortunate. Blastoise would have been very nice to have against uh, just his general bulk. Even if he's not especially bulky, he would have been nice to have against the rest of his team. Um, and here, I was hoping the U-turn would kill, because Alakazam so frail on the defensive side. Of course, it doesn't, just because it's U-turn, and that's coming from a timid Hydreigon, and he's not... You know, that's lowering his attack even more. But anyways, though, I have to switch out into something, because I, I, at this point, I thought Hydreigon was the only way I was going to win the mat, the battle, as I thought that um, I could outspeed his Latios. So I just went ahead and sacrificed my uh, Pharaoh Thorn to the Focus Blast, which he hits. And then I bring it back in to go for the super effective Dragon Pulse. Not on Alakazam, of course, but it would be super effective on Latios when Latios comes back in. Excuse me. So, uh... I think at this point, the only things that I have left are I have this right here, my Hydreigon. He has a Scizor and his Latios, and then I have my Infernape. Now, I'm expecting him to just bullet punch straight through here, which this right here does show me that he is banded. So, if you were carrying the bullet, the superpower or the Brick Break, that probably would have KO'd my Ferrothorn earlier. But, um, here I'm really hoping that I can live two bullet punches, because I have done it before, but it's a min-max damage type thing. And I do it, and that means I get to stay in and kill him with an Overheat. Which is great, because, again, my mindset at this point was, alright, it's just down to his specs, Latios, and my Scarfed Hydreigon. But since he has a Scarfed Latios, there is no way for me to outspeed him. And it really actually came down to whether or not he was going to miss his Draco Meteor. Because I don't believe that he was carrying Dragon Pulse. So, it, it was funny, because at the time, we were both sitting there thinking that the other person was slower. Uh, so, one of us could had to be right, and he was right, because he knew that he had Scarf, he hit that really well the entire game, and actually I didn't really give him a good opportunity to display that he had it, because, you know, on Weezing, um, he didn't really get a chance to show it off, and anyways, though, that was a pretty good match, I enjoy a good OU match from time to time, and I hope you all enjoyed it too, uh, just to give you all a heads up, I will be starting a blog on a WordPress, which is going to kind of be, uh, it's hard to describe, but it's basically going to be going into the the lore and the the anatomy and those types of things of Pokemon from my perspective, just whatever type of research I run across. So uh, be on the lookout for that. I'm probably going to put it up on my Facebook group. So if you all have not liked my Facebook group, please do if you guys want to see that a little later. Otherwise, I hope you all enjoyed this battle, and I hope you all have a great week. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.